no intro. We're making bloody letters in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. It's going to go to File New. Let's name this Bloody Letters. Uh, for the width and the height, I'm just going to keep a thousand pixels by a thousand. You can change your units here, but it can be whatever you want. Um, everything else I'm going to keep default. Let's keep it RGB and high raster. Click Create. Okay. Um, if you want your um, art or workspace to look like mine, you can go to Workspace and hit Essentials Classic. I'm just going to hit Reset Essentials Classic. So, yeah, your screen should look like mine. All right. Let's just go to the Type tool to start. You can hit T on your keyboard. And I'm just going to click N. And I'm just going to write BLOOD in all caps. Hit Escape to save that. And I'm just going to drag out the corner holding Shift. Um, so, yeah, to pull that out. Um, for the font, you can choose a lot of different fonts. The font that I'm going to choose and work with is called Marker Felt Wide. Um, uh, thin works too. Um, I'm going to choose Wide um, just because it's thicker and um, because it has these like these shapes where you would have pressed down with the marker at the end of the letters, like here and in these O's, like here. And uh, yeah, those are good places to just draw drip shapes. So I think this, um, since it's supposed to look like ink, uh, you can definitely just uh, turn it red and it looks like blood. Um, so let's do that. Um, let's just turn this red. I'm just going to go to like this bright CMYK red. This doesn't look like blood, but it's going to work for now. Um, what we want to do at the end is add a little gradient that's like bright red to darker red at the bottom. But we can't do it now because... Uh, this is live type and we have to break that live type so the way that we're going to do that is just click on it go to type and hit create outlines so now this is a vector shape um, you know if we wanted to we could you know pull random uh, anchor points down and do kind of whatever we want which you know that that doesn't look too bad actually um, I'm actually I'm going to do that for a few of these so it's gonna do some here and let's all I'm doing is using the direct select tool and I'm just selecting single anchor points and I'm just pulling them down you can pull that back up do whatever you want um, so yeah that, that looks pretty cool actually um, makes it already a little bit drippy um, but we're gonna we're gonna heighten it a little bit pull it down here too, just just slightly Okay, so that's that's pretty nice, um, but we're gonna make just some more um, traditional drips, I guess, for lack of a better word, um, just ones that go straight down and you know uh, bunch up at the bottom. So I, I just went to the line tool for now, the line segment tool. You can hit backslash on your keyboard, and I'm just gonna go to like a corner like here, and I'm just gonna pull straight down while holding shift. Oh, it took away my stroke so we need to select red back on the stroke let's yeah let's just bump up the stroke to about three okay move it into place um, it's got this squared bottom which doesn't look much like blood so let's change that to a round cap you can just hit stroke here to pull up this menu and hit the round cap um, we don't need the corners but let's just hit round join just because okay and now what we can do from here is we can use the width tool that's shift W on your keyboard you can also just hit it here and if you zoom in you'll see this like a uh, cursor with like the squiggly line underneath you can uh, go to the anchor point at the bottom and pull it out you can see it's gonna pull that wider now it's pulling it wider you know from the top point so we want kind of a drip at the bottom so from the bottom go up just a little bit and now you can click and pull that in and you can see how the bottom is kind of like bulbing a little bit and kind of looks like blood wood so it's, I'm gonna pull it there I also like to do it at the top as well so let's pull it out a little wide pull this in a little bit not quite as dramatic so click outside that looks pretty good maybe bring it a pixel or two down just so you get that more of that bulb shape so yeah that's a that's kind of what we want I'm gonna do just another one here just the same method 
pull it a little bit shorter, pull it wide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not go as crazy here, but I am just gonna do the same up here. Pull that into place. Oh, that was a weird, some weird visual glitch going on right now. That's fun. So okay, um, those are two good um, just drip shapes. So I'm just gonna use those and pull it to other portions of the letters. Definitely want this long one coming off of this shape down here. All I'm doing is highlighting and uh, holding, holding option. So you see that double cursor and just pulling it over here. So yeah, if you didn't know how, if you didn't know that copy trick, that's all I'm doing. That looks good. Pull this big one over here. And yeah, if you're, I'm, I'm not really pulling randomly. Um, I'm pulling more to where, yeah, again, the uh, marker would have set for a, for a few seconds and accumulated ink. I'm going to pull this one a little bit wider at the top. There we go. So yeah, to make some little edits along the way, I'm just going to pull this one to the center up here. So okay, um, I think those are pretty good uh, bloody letters. Um, so now I just want to add a gradient through all of these shapes. They're all one color right now. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to highlight everything. And let's hold shift and click the actual letters. So we should just have the drips now. So I'm going to keep them there. Um, so with all the drips, uh, highlighted, we're going to go to Object and Expand Appearance. So now we have all of these shapes expanded and now we want to go to Object and we're going to go to Compound Path and Make. Let's do the same with the letters. I don't know if I made the letters a compound path, but just in case, um, highlight the letters. Let's go to Object, Compound Path and Make. Oh, I guess that was incorrect. Let's just change that red. No, it, it should be it should be fine. It should be fine. Yeah, it just took away our um our fill. Okay, it's okay. So now highlight everything, and uh, we want to just hit unite from here, and that's going to um, unite our shape into one shape. So you can see. Yeah, it's all one shape now. So now, again, let's make it a compound path. So we can make, um, we can pull a gradient through these letters that would be clean. See, if you see here, we have a smooth gradient that goes through all of the 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 shapes, the the the, the shapes, uh, even though the shapes aren't directly connected. Um, so let's pull this gradient out so we can work with it. Let's go up here to our swatches, and we're gonna pull in this red to the white side. And this slightly darker red over here, we're just going to pull over over to the right side near the black. And let's just click and pull that black off and click and pull the white off. Pull those like a little bit. I actually like pulling my red in a bit. And uh, it's going from left to right, so let's change this angle to 90. Uh, now it's doing it reverse, so let's hit reverse gradient because I, I did it wrong. And I'm going to adjust these just a little bit so it's kind of darker at the bottom. Because the idea is that uh, blood is going to be pulled down so it would be a little bit thicker down here. So yeah, I think that looks uh, pretty cool. Um, you can do some other things like add a shadow to the back if you want. Um, I'm just going to add a quick black shadow to the back. That looks pretty cool. And um, I'm going to add just some like kind of splatter uh, drip shapes. So let's go here to our brushes and let's click this um, like menu button on over here to the right. Let's go to open brush library. Let's go to artistic and let's go to ink. So that's going to pull up uh, this little um, just set of options. I'm going to go to ink splatter one. 
and let's change it to red. So going up here to the swatches, I don't need a fill. I'm going to pick this darker red for the ink splatter. Okay, so now using the brush tool, you can kind of just randomly paint some shapes. I'm going to send it to the back. Let's rotate it a little bit there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to click just some other shapes just to do it. Let's click this first one here, give it some bigger ones. Bump the stroke up a little bit on that. Uh, that doesn't look that good, so what I'm going to do to this one, pull it off to the side. Let's hit expand. Let's hit the direct select to get rid of that uh, that shape. And let's just hit red here. That looks fine. It's kind of too pink, but whatever. Let's get rid of it. I don't like it. Let's just keep these. I like these. These look pretty good. But you, you see what I'm doing. You can add, you know, it's just some different splatter shapes just to kind of, yeah, make it a little bloodier. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I think that looks nice. Um, yeah, hope you like this video. Uh, leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, all that dumb stuff. Um, yeah, let me know what other videos you want me to you want me to make, um, especially any spooky videos for Halloween. But uh, yeah, hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.